Hey guys, this is Kai Green, KG Fit. Just want to give a little update. Uh, remember to really, if you want to lose weight, uh, don't keep the rest period too long. You know, it's, you see people two, four minutes between the sets. I'm doing a little um, workout today, uh, abs, um, legs, and uh, shoulders. Um, I jump from one exercise to another without a rest, and then I have, after one little circuit, 30 seconds rest. So at the beginning you might want to go to 90 seconds max or rather 60 seconds. The fitter you get, uh, you know, lower your rest period in between. If you really want to look shredded, you got to get going. You will really burn in the afterburn uh, two, three, sometimes 400 calories over the rest of the day. Huh? So like that you can make sure that you get your resistance training in, but you also do your kind of a cardio. You will see that your heart rate is up. If you do it right, you can get your heart rate 250, 160, I've done it before. The rest period very low, um, uh, elevated density training, so you can uh, choose the weight that you usually do 10 reps with and then you do just five reps. Don't go to muscle failure, but go from one exercise to the next. Uh, usually it's with two exercises, I sometimes do it with three exercises. So that's the way I personally stay in shape, additional to the, to the cardio. Um, but you already, even if you don't have the time to do a cardio or something like that, like this, you make sure that you really get uh, stay lean uh, instead of just bulking up, which in my opinion doesn't look good. If that's your goal, you know, it's a different thing. Uh, then you want to have longer, um, longer rest periods uh, of time, you know, uh, sometimes up to four, sometimes five minutes if you do like, uh, you know, power lifting, uh, it depends. But usually you want to stay in shape, want to be conditioned and shred down um, 30 seconds. That's the goal. All right, you're crazy, but take it easy.